Hi everyone, my name is Henry and I'm a DevOps engineer here at Phoenix Media and today I'd like to show you something really exciting. I'd like to show you how easy it actually is to deploy Magento in a local Kubernetes cluster using our own open source Helm chart. If you're interested, stay tuned and I'll walk you through each of the steps necessary. Now, before jumping right in, let's first take care of the prerequisites. One of those is Docker Desktop and it can be downloaded and installed for free from the internet. All of the links will be in the description. The second one is going to be our own Git repository, which contains a lot of interesting open source projects. For this video, however, we will focus on Magento Helm. Now, after having installed the Docker desktop, it should roughly look something like this. Afterwards, we need to go to settings and then scroll down to Kubernetes and click on enable Kubernetes and apply and restart. This will basically make sure to install kubectl and we will have a running uh, cluster locally. Don't worry if this takes some time. In the meanwhile, however, we will need to go to resources and increase the amount of resources that we give Docker desktop, since quite a few of the applications we're going to deploy are very resource hungry and may crash otherwise. We recommend four CPU cores and at least eight gigabytes of memory, but in my case, it is much more generous. Once you're done with this step, you can just go ahead and uh, continue with cloning the repository. And in my opinion, the best thing to do is just clone it into some sort of empty folder that you created previously. In my case, it's called demo. After entering the command, pretty soon all of our files will be in our computer and we can check that out actually in our uh, new folder. However, uh, the only file which is interesting to us right now is the values docker file. We can open that one with a text editor. And now we can notice all of the different attributes that we can configure for our application. This configuration, however, is final, so we wouldn't need to do any changes unless we want to change the domain that we want to use. In this case, we use Magento Local, but if you would like to change it, you would need to also change it in Magento Cloud Roots of Magento and Cron Job, as well as in the value on the ingress configuration. Before moving on to the deployment, we also need to create a kube config file, which will be used to access and then communicate with the kubectl API. We can do so with the following command. And again, there is no need to worry, all of the commands will also be in the video description. After that, we can double check that the kubeconfig was actually created and it's in our uh, repository. Once the kubeconfig is done, all we need to do is set up a Helm environment. The best thing to do here would be to create a Docker container since it will include all of the dependencies. I will use the following command and once the Docker image is loaded, the container will be created and will basically have all we need to deploy our app. As a first step, however, we need to take care of all of the dependencies since our own chart is dependent on other open source charts. And after uh, all of the charts are loaded, we can actually start with the deployment of our own chart. For the deployment of our own chart, we use the following command, which will also be in the description. In this command, we need to specify the kubeconfig as well as the values docker file, which we both worked with a bit earlier. We also create a new namespace called docker demo and name our app Magento. In a separate terminal window, we can monitor the progress of the whole deployment. The following command will show us the progress of all of the pods in real time. Here we can see that we are deploying quite a few apps and most of them are still pulling their images from artifactories. Some of them also have some sort of conditional waiting, like for example, Elasticsearch or Magento, they need to wait for other processes to finish before they can start working. It's normal for the deployment to take up quite some time and here I skipped ahead of the boring wait time and we can see that all of the pods are up and running. It took my computer roughly four minutes to achieve that, but that can vary a lot from computer to computer. So 
With this important step done, we are one step closer to having our full Magento up and running in our computer. Now, the application and all of the files are already in our computer, so all that we are missing is a server which can serve us these files. For this purpose, we can use a Kubernetes component called Ingress NGINX, and for its deployment, we can reuse our Helm container. The following Helm command basically uses another Helm chart in order to deploy our Ingress NGINX, but in this case, we use a standard deployment. After the deployment finishes, what we will have is an Ingress NGINX uh, instance in our computer. This instance will have access to our etc hosts file, which makes everything so practical, since all we would need to do is add a mapping for our own domain to localhost, and we can do this with the following command. The command will basically make sure to add one entry to the last line of the file for magento.local. By doing so, we make sure that all of the incoming requests towards our domain, Magento Local, are redirected to our Ingress NGINX instance, which later on knows to forward everything to our Varnish server. Now, we can check if this is the case by going to our browser and trying to navigate to our own domain, Magento Local. So, there we have it. The web page is already there and you are free to play around with your local Magento installation. I hope this guide helped to show you how easy it is to deploy Magento in Kubernetes and that there is nothing to be afraid of. Until next time. Oh.